have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long took a hold of me Hey sweet friends, my name is Katie Satilli. If you've never been here before, welcome back to another Extreme Clean With Me. I'm so glad that you're visiting and hanging out with me while we clean together. Today, I'm gonna be cleaning my messy house with you and doing a whole house clean with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning motivation. Before you leave, hit the red subscribe button if you're new here. I would love for you to join this community and click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first ones to watch when my videos go up. I'm always in the comments for the first hour so I'd love to connect with you when it first goes live. Let me know in the comments what you'll be cleaning today and let's get to the cleaning. So the never ending task of keeping our kids clothes updated with their size is just so daunting. I don't know about you guys, but I have talked with some of my mom friends who also say that this just always seems to be one of those tasks that you get behind in. And all of a sudden the closet is filled with some size that they don't even wear anymore. So today I was going through it and just getting all of the nine month clothes for my son who's wearing 12, almost 18 month clothes cleaned out, which was more than half of the closet. I want to thank Smart Dry for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I recently got a Smart Dry for our dryer and I'm loving how it reminds me on my iPhone that my load is done drying. This helps them to not get wrinkled or sit damp preventing bad odors. I'm one who will not leave my home if the dryer is on because I'm seriously scared of fires and Smart Dry will alert me if there are any dangerous conditions like high temperatures which prevents dryer fires. It was also super simple to install and it works with Alexa. I will have all the information for Smart Dry listed in my description box below.
so you'll see here in just a second that I started making my daughter's bed and then she walked in the room and she had wanted to be in my cleaning video anyways so I figured this was perfect opportunity for her to make her own bed she just turned six today so that is pretty exciting around our house and she is getting really good at making her bed um, we don't do it every day but we probably should and you will see that there's a huge smudge on the wall right by her bed which I think I'm gonna get cleaned off here in just a second So now I'm heading in to the kids bathroom and it had not been cleaned in quite some time which I'm embarrassed to even admit that here on the internet but I'm just being real it's easy to get behind I have three bathrooms and this one is the least used so in my head it just makes sense to save it for last I guess so anyways I was finally getting to it and I was going to do a deep cleaning job I didn't end up mopping this day but I went ahead and cleaned the sink, all of the counters, the mirror, the bathtub, and the shower area, and I vacuumed out the bathroom. My favorite way to clean these glass doors is just with Windex. I feel like it does a really good job of getting everything sparkly clean and see-through and I love getting everything like that because I just feel like it gives you this fresh clean vibe in the room. So I went ahead and cleaned it all down with Windex.
Working on vacuuming the upstairs area. Um, I love this cordless vacuum from LG. It's just super easy to use and it's nice because I can carry it up and down the stairs without having to reconnect it into the wall at all, which for some reason just makes a big difference for me. heading into my bedroom there was just clutter everywhere which was really getting on my nerves so I went ahead and cleaned up from everything I had used to get ready that day and some of the clothes and shoes that were on the floor I just put them away to show you guys real quick my nails that I'm wearing right now they are press-on nails from Red Aspen I'm now selling with Red Aspen and they have lashes and nails and all kinds of fun makeup I recently ordered a lip kit from them it is in the shade chocolate and it's really pretty for fall I'm loving it I've been wearing it so much so I'll make sure and have all of the information linked in the description box below. I'll probably be talking more about this in a vlog coming up, but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek.
my smart dry app just alerted me that my clothes are dry. I don't know if you can see it right there. It says smart dry timer alert timed dry. So it's cool because you can set different um, alarms and different settings that you can select. So anyways, I was going to head in to the laundry area and pull my stuff out of the dryer, but I just love that that thing alerted me. I don't know if you guys noticed, but on my bed, I switched out some of my throw pillow pillows. I used to have dark gray throw pillows and I switched them out with some gray and white striped, more like pinstripes. And I love it. I feel like it gives it kind of more of an airy look, which is what I'm always going for. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you even noticed. Now I'm heading downstairs and this is actually a different day. I struggle to do a whole house clean with me all in one day at this point in my life with three kids, six and under. So just being real, this was the second day of cleaning and I figured you guys wouldn't mind. So I'm in a different outfit and I just was going through my living room and cleaning up all of the pillows, getting all of the clothes, it's just a catastrophe down here most of the time and I'm constantly cleaning it, but it just constantly is getting dirty. This is one of our clutter spots that always gets messy. It has kids crafts on it. It has coloring stuff on it. It has food and drinks. And I just feel like because it's so small, it fills up really fast. So it's one of those spots that I feel like I am constantly cleaning. And even as I'm filming this video and this voiceover right now, I can think of my dining room table and I just know it is filled with toys and plates and all that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments below if your dining room table does the same. I think I've heard from you guys before in the past that it does. So this is Hudson's tray from his high chair. I just popped it off and I clean this thing like three, maybe four times a day. <laughs> I just can't believe how much I clean this one tray. And I guess it's because we're basically using it as a plate, but oh my goodness, any moms out there with young kids, I feel for you. We all are just cleaning that high chair over and over and over every day.
This is something that I don't do often enough, but that is spray down the chairs in here and get them wiped clean. For some reason, these IKEA chairs just collect dirt. I mean, I know that, hello, we've got a ton of people sitting in them all day, every day, but also they just are really dirty. Um, like the, the texture of the wood, I know that it's fake wood, but the texture of it just cleans with dirt and so they get so dirty so fast it's annoying and also have you seen my fall clean and decorate video with me yet if you haven't I'll make sure and leave that linked in the description box because it's a must watch for sure if you're seeing this and you've never watched one of my videos before you've got to go see it it's one of my favorites that I've done in a very long time so make sure you go check it out and leave me a comment that you're coming from this video I know that you know that you already messed it up I get questioned sometimes of why I have stuff on my staircase and basically it's just because it's waiting to go upstairs. I tend to put stuff there that needs to go upstairs and I usually put it in different piles like I'll have a pile of clothes that need to get washed, I'll have a pile of toys, I'll have a pile of my shoes and it just seems to kind of collect right there. Um, I don't know if any of you guys who have two-story houses have the same issue but it kind of drives me crazy because I if not if I'm not doing that then I'm running up and down the stairs all day which would be good for me but with Hudson having Hudson then I need to carry him with me I don't know it's just a logistical issue <laughs> so I always have stuff collecting at the bottom of these stairs but that is one of those goals that I have in my mind that I want to get better at. I want to every single night before I go to bed, clean off the stairs completely so that every day I'm starting with new, clean, fresh staircase.
So thanks so much for hanging out with me while we clean. Let me know in the comments what you're cleaning and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.